Usually on my channel, I only show you successful projects that started well, ended up well, polished, refined, everything works. And this time I'm showing you something which failed, kind of. In fact, what you can see here is a huge soccer field completely built with Lego bricks. And I had this idea at the time when Lego supported us as Mindstorm's community partners. And we had ideas and they sponsored us with bricks and to show off huge interactive projects like these at events, international events. So it was 2010 and I had time, I had space, I had a lot of ideas. And this was designed for two autonomous robots to play on the field. And the field itself was a robot. In fact, once the robot made a goal, throwing the, the infrared ball into the goal, the ball uh, followed some ramps and was put back onto the field by a conveyor belt. And the robots and the field were connected. So the robots knew when the ball was out of the game and went back to the center. How, you might ask? Well, I designed a system with some beacons, passive beacons, retroreflective beacons, and the robot has some lasers on top that could help them localize themselves onto this field. So it was a very advanced project, but it was too much autonomous. So it was not deemed uh, interactive enough for the public to enjoy and was very huge to carry around. And about the same time, the honeymoon with Lego was over. Some people changed their job and they were relocated. And so this project shipwrecked actually. And since then I moved two times, no, three times. I changed three houses and I always carried this huge K8 boxes with me. And at the end, I don't have time and space anymore. So I'm shooting this video just to document these before I think at this point getting rid of this table. How you might ask, I don't know, if someone wants to take over this project and finish it, I would be happy or disassemble everything and sell as spare parts on Bricklink maybe, I don't know. It's sad, I know, but my business model has changed completely since then. 15 years has passed now, I'm a father, I have a family, so Everything is different, so I really have to change this. But for now, I'll show you some very old clips of the robots playing right on this field. Enjoy! This is the LEGO Mindstorm soccer field, automatic soccer field. So when the ball goes into the door here, it triggers this touch sensor. The score is counted. Then there is this ramp and goes into the lifter. There is an ultrasonic sensor that is triggered and after a while the elevator puts the ball into game again. Oh. The automatic uh, robot players can localize themselves on the game field using laser triangulation. So they measure the angle to those mirrors there, they localize and go to the their area. Then you have to start the, the NXT that controls the field and wait for, for it to connect. Now it's connected now, just start the game. The, the field puts the ball into game and the robot starts playing at some point. localize itself and then go to score and fails <laughs> what I want to show also is that the score the field can count score and put the good ball into the game again.
The structure of this field is so resistant that I can actually stand on it. It's huge, it's thick. The design of this thing was by Henrik Stresra and Martin Bogars, I think. They designed it for a huge NXT factory they made for LEGO World. And uh, they were so kind to let me use the design for this soccer field. So let me know in the comments what should I do with this one. If you have ideas, if you have comments, if you want to see more about that. It's all for now. So stay young, play well. Ciao. Mo, come on, step past.